Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at Option Alpha, and tonight's video for the Reader's Choice Week here is how and when to trade weekly options. So what I'm going to do in this video is kind of go over some of the major weekly options that are available uh, for traders these days. I'm sure that weekly options are going to start growing a lot. They're becoming very, very popular. Um, six or seven months ago, if someone asked you what weekly options were, you probably wouldn't have known anything about them, but now I think that a lot of people are interested in them, and I'm glad that someone uh, brought them up to talk about. So just as a, a frame of reference here, weekly options operate very, very similar to the regular monthly uh, and quarterly options, except they're based on, uh, you guessed it, the weekly time cycle. So most of the weekly options that are in the market are issued or rolled out early Thursday morning, and then they expire the following Friday. So again, they're very, very quick turnaround. Uh, you don't have much time in those options to make or, or lose money. So um, I think which is really popular for today's market and a lot of the day trading, swing trading type of websites. So let's go over a couple things on uh, my Thinkorswim platform here with regard to the weekly options. Okay, so here's um, my Thinkorswim platform. And again, I can only show this for uh, for those of you who understand this, but follow along with me. Um, weekly options are available on most of the major indexes. The SPX is one of them, and you can see that they're clearly uh, marked here. The weeklies are the weekly options. And again, you can see these regular January ones here, February, March, and then the March quarterlies. Um, they're also on some of the more major stocks like Google. Google does have weekly options and also a couple of the ETFs. I know that USO also has weekly options and again you can see how clearly marked they are on all of these. But let's go back to the S&P here and use that as our guideline. And you can see there's just about four days left in these. So it is Monday the 10th of January. So these options were issued last Thursday and they expired this Friday. So there's a lot of premium left in these options. I think a couple ways that uh, I guess you can use weekly options as part of your trading strategy uh, are two different ways. One, uh, the first way that I like to use weekly options is uh, not to use them so much as a profitable type of trade or I guess a, a trade that you are looking to make money on a directional play in the market but more as a hedge against some major news that might be coming out in the market. Remember last week, uh, there was a big unemployment number coming out at the end of the week. So this would be a great time to use weekly options to hedge that unemployment number. If you think the unemployment number is going to come in a lot higher and you want to hedge some downside risk, well, you just come in here to these January options and buy something far out of the money for, say, $10 here. But it would give you really good protection and you would just need it for that week whenever that particular announcement was coming out. If you were using Google, for example, you could probably hedge some of Google's earnings announcement and make some money possibly on Google's earnings announcement by hedging it either with some calls or with some puts. So again, it works in all kinds of different areas, but it's really good hedging tool for traders so that you don't have risk over a certain week. And what the weekly options allow you to do is not be uh, forced into a contract that's 30 days or 60 days long where you have to pay for all that time premium and all that all that delta. So that's one way you can use weekly options to your advantage. The other way that you can use weekly options is uh, for profiting on time premium or time decay. If you notice, and I'll just change my uh, layout here, you can see that the weekly options have very, very high theta amounts, or theta again represent the time decay of these options. Now the reason they have high theta amounts is because they do have a limited lifespan. So every day that they don't hit that strike price, wherever that strike price is, they're losing precious time. And they only have seven days worth of time decay left in them. Uh, in this particular case, these only have four days. So this theta is just going to keep ramping up here. So what you could do is you could sell some of these out of the money calls and puts, particularly on the indexes, and make some really good money on these as we get closer towards the end of the week. Now, obviously, the risk that you're going to run into here and the thing that you have to balance is if you want to take on that risk because you're going to have to sell options a little bit closer to the market. In this particular case, you'd make some good money, about $40 per contract on these 1,200 puts. But again, you are in a very, very tight window. Anything can happen in the next four days, and we could possibly see the market sell off 60, 70 points 
and start to really affect these options. So, but that's another way that you can use these weekly options for your trading advantage. And again, I'm just going to show you quickly how much difference there is even in just these uh, two uh, different contract uh, terms here. These are the January weeklies, which only have four days left until the last trading day. And these are just the regular old January monthly options that have 10 days. And you can see that there is a drastic difference. Here, these 1265 puts have about 55 uh, cents of time decay, and the same exact puts on the weeklies have about 76. So you can see that there's a lot higher time decay and really you're not getting much more delta or much more profit per move in the underlying security. So again, you want to be careful with these weekly options. They are becoming very popular. So the liquidity is not a problem for these. I think that a lot of people are really interested in the liquidity of weekly options. But as you can see here on these S&P uh, weekly options, there were 2,500 contracts traded all the way down here at 1200 so you could easily get in and out of these trades with with no hassle really whatsoever okay hope this has been good and as always if you have anything else you want to see please enter your comments in the section below and i'll add it to the schedule for the next reader's choice week